today we'll chant the 20th quote of Bhagavad Gita, the holiest of the holy books of the Hindus. Krishna said, You came empty handed to Arjuna and you will live empty handed. And this story has been connected to Alexander the Great. When Alexander the Great visited India and was going back time, he felt sick. It seems. They called all the physicians from the world who could treat him, but nobody could save him. So Alexander the Great, before his death, told his generals, I have only one wish. I am going to die and nobody can save me. After my death, when you please take my coffin, my body around the city. And people will be crowding to see my body. And the only one thing I'm asking is please make sure you keep my hand outside, both my hands outside the coffin. And the general said, No, you great. Emperor, we cannot keep the hands outside like that. It's against the custom of Alexander the Great says, Please keep my hands outside and take my body around the city. And people will ask, Why Alexander the Great's hand is outside the coffin? That time you might tell, even Alexander the Great, when he dies, he goes empty handed. Hmm. Yes. The story was beautiful, connecting to what Krishna said to Arjuna. You came empty handed and you live empty handed. That was not the truth. Krishna, what Krishna said, you came empty handed means you came empty deceased, empty ego, empty selfishness in this beautiful golden chariot filled up with all the diamonds, your eyes, your nose. Everything is a thousand man warrior, but emptiness of your daily stars. I have given you all these things, Arjuna, the Colossus. And it is your duty to maintain. If everybody is maintaining their body, the body will look beautiful, cleansing the pipelines, fasting on every weekend, eating fruits before the meals not drinking water in between all this will help you and you sweat it out seven times no work no food that emptiness is what krishna told arjuna and people have forgotten that from the day this came into the mind of the people of india they said i came empty i go empty so i will not make anything no 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 if you are given a thousand times what this body has been given and in the emptiness of your ego selfishness and no disease will come only energy and in that energy you will create a thousand times better things in your land, in your house for the next generation to take it forward so there will be no war no war mongerings all this war is because of the devilish thoughts of the borrowed knowledge Bhagavad Gita of course you came empty handed and you will live empty handed and people made our country a poverty ridden country why should I have and all the so Jesus became stupid. All the church fathers have become stupid. They kept on deciding the same. You came empty, you go empty. No, 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 no. The emptiness, what they said, I don't want a purity. The most pure, purified form of religion. Purified form of a human body. Like a brand new car. Like a shock. So here, the finance businessman told me, 20 years back I bought a refrigerator and my friend Kishore bought the same 20 years back. Today he has come to donate to Rakham School because he no more needed because it is not in good condition because Rakham School takes all the old ones. And I will tell you, Guruji, Ashok told me 20 years back, I got a heap out of my 20 years old refrigerator, still brand new looking. I kept it 
technology was changed. I don't need much of that. Look at a multi billionaire talking the story, keeping the body like what Ashok told is 20 years or 40 years. The body of the refrigerator looks exactly the same. If you maintain it up, when you maintain it up, then this is what is said is correct. You keep empty handed and you will live empty handed. Yes, you will go empty handed. Yes, because what will go empty handed? Keep empty handed because your body becomes so light. There is no fat. You are not carrying fat. Fat is disease. Shed the fat. Have the skeletal muscle so you will feel empty handed. You go empty handed means. You fly, you climb, you curl, you run, you jog, you swim. That was the emptiness. Only the emptiness truth prevailed. And in the truth you see the God. And in the God you find your father and mother a God. You find your family a God. And you connect a joint family through your thousand men warrior power. Because you know the things what is given is priceless. And when you know to maintain it up, where are you going? To beg, you don't need to beg any factories or companies to give you a job. You don't have to beg for the government for something. You are the government. People kept on asking me, why don't you ask an aid from the state government or central government or an MNC or foreign countries? I said, no. I have one aid. That is you, I said. People keep coming. That is my aid. Yes, they see my demonstration of what I am doing my karma yoga. And as long as this government is coming, I don't need any other government. Public was my government. They were my gods. I pray to God by not praying and asking Him by continuously doing the work with my children. And my body and my children's body has turned into a prayer form, a magnetic form, and many people told me, just coming over here, we get magnified, we get charged, and people are walking in and giving. If we can become an example, you can convert your body into a, into a most beautiful form. What Krishna told Arjuna, you came empty handed, Arjuna, now demonstrate, and you will live empty handed, means you will go without anything, any borrowed knowledge, whether it is this or that, whether it is a Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, the rich or the poor, black and the white. No, no, you will go empty and empty mind is what meditation teaches. That emptiness to reach. When you are in that emptiness, Arjuna, Krishna told, roll on your thousand and more, show your power, explosive power. You are stopping because you have borrowed knowledge. That borrowed knowledge is not emptiness. In that, in that emptiness, you will. You will see the truth in the God. You have to create the emptiness to, to chase away all the diseases. So doctors and hospitals will not try only beautiful. Not even gymnasiums will try. Try neither karate dojos will try. They will only have beautiful organic gardens. Pedicure, manicured uh, land, throughout the length and breadth of the country. And you can see the joy of the children and everybody moving from one place to another, only seeing beauties. And God will shower blessings. Bhagavad Gita, of course, this is a 20. Krishna to Arjuna. Lord Krishna said, You came empty handed and you will live empty handed. Don't Take that and live in poverty. You know, do not come empty handed. Can't you see? Can't you hear? Can't you feel, smell, taste? And are you stupid that you came empty handed? God did not send you empty handed. Look at the weight of this body, priceless. And it is your duty to give at least an interest back by road. The Bible, are you hearing the roar of a thousand men warrior? You become a thousand man warrior. And when you walk a thousand people walk behind you, when you talk a thousand people listen to you, when you walk, you can see the front, front of sweat just dripping down into the earth 
And every one step when you take and you move, you can see behind that earth blooms with the beautiful plants and grass and varieties because your sweat is the sweat of the purity like the ocean water of the rain. When the rainwater falls, all the farmers in Devinagar is happy because very next day they were at least two, three feet down water and go. They know the grass grows. And my Koshala workers are so happy. They know tomorrow I can take the cow. The cow will get a lot of grass. And my boss will go and dig to get a lot of wool. All this is gone. You came empty handed. And you will live empty and without any disease, skeletons.